What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here coming back at you with another Rules of Survival video and today, highly requested by you guys, you guys want to see my settings, you guys want to know what I'm doing to play the way I play. Now, you may have come to this video just because of the title, it says something along the lines of me being number one in the world? Well, let's check that first. So if you go to solo mode and you go down to kills, I'm number one in EU and if you check on the NA and on the Asian servers, I'm also twice as high in total kills on solo mode as anyone else in the world. Right, if you go up to overall, I'm right behind a person in EU called Shekis. He's number one in the world right now and I'm number two. We're the two highest and we're in the same region. So I'm number one in the world for overall solo kills and number two in the world for overall kills. So I thought I'd give you guys that sort of proof there in case you didn't watch my streams personally, you're just new to the channel. I thought I'd just show you guys that just before in case anyone was gonna say that it was clickbait or anything. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys the best settings for me personally in the game right now. All right guys, so as you can see, we are on the setting screens right here. Currently, I do have my um, SE volume up higher. That's to do with things like opening doors, firing bullets, walking, anything like that. I like to have that a lot higher than the music or the mic volume, anything like that. The SE volume is basically the sound effects volume. So anything that is dynamic in the map, the mix volume that isn't like somebody talking or isn't music, that is what sound effects volume actually is. Sorry for getting so many invites. I am, of course, on top of the leaderboards right now. So a lot of people invite me to their games. They want to play with me and stuff like that. So there is the basic settings. I also have auto power saving on, damage display on. I love to know how much damage I'm doing to people. I need damage display on at all times. So I know if I hit people in the head or not, you can hear a little bit of a noise when you hit people in the head, but I like to just see that red flash up on my screen when I hit people in the head when it gets me excited. Also play on ultra graphics because my device can not handle it. I now fi fixed my stream so I can actually play on ultra on stream as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Vibrate when match starts. I, my iPad doesn't actually vibrate, so that, that is actually useless to me. I also have high FPS mode off. Just because of streaming, when I put high FPS mode on, my stream lags a bit. So let's go down to operation. As you can see here, this is the juiciest part. This is the juiciest part of this video. This is what you guys really, really want to see. 37 vertical sensitivity. 37 horizontal vehicle driver sensitivity is a 50 I icon vertical sensitivity is a 50. I icon horizontal sensitivity is a 50. Red dot sight, hollow sight, times two scope, times four scope, and times eight scope are all number one. And I don't have 3T touch sensitivity on my tablet right now. So it is obviously non, it's basically obsolete. It doesn't matter. Of course, I have lane enabled. I don't use lane that much. But when I do, I am very effective with it. So yeah, I have lean on. Vibrate when hit is off. Um, don't want vibrate when hit at all on because it would obviously uh, make your shots a little bit inaccurate. If you're getting shot at and you're shooting at someone and you're and you're vibrating, it's going to move your hands a little bit. You're going to jitter your your uh, hands a little bit. So you don't want to have vibration on. Absolutely not. See if you're playing on a phone right now and you you have vibration on, turn it off now, guys. It will feel weird for about a day or so, but after you get used to it, man, it is absolutely way better. It's 100% better than having it on. Aim assist, obviously on. I did used to play with aim assist on or off, but everyone was telling me to put it on, so I decided to put it on. And that's the rest for those operation ones. Let's go ahead and get into the advanced options real quick. So the advanced options, I do have the traditional scope of the rifle. I have it on advanced mode just so I can spray people down with the right trigger. So yeah, advanced mode, Scope settings is on traditional. I also have one, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter. I play solos most of the time on this account anyway. And um, vehicle control is the comfort mode. I absolutely love the comfort mode, but it is it is basic. It is the comfort the most comfortable mode. Uh, so it is. It's an absolutely fantastic. Definitely use the comfort mode if you if you're trying to chill, relax. You're trying to get some easy dubs. Definitely make sure to use the comfort mode. For the custom, I don't have any custom settings here. It's all the default settings. Most of my um. Most of my settings are basically default settings. I feel like the default settings for every device is actually pretty good to play the game. I know a lot of people feel differently about me, but I have quite a lot of default settings in my um, in my settings. So yeah, there's where I put my lean and stuff. I used to have my lean over here, but it was too crowded, so I just kept it over there. And I'll just I'll just switch it back to the default there, right? So we're back to the default. Uh, that is my settings right there. So yeah, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of uh me showing you my settings real quick, and I'm gonna actually I'll show you my stats real quick as well. 
well. My stats are pretty poor, to be honest. 16 wins, 11, I've close to a 12 KD, 30 KD, or 30 highest kills. Average hit rate is really, really good, 35%. I don't know anyone else on YouTube who has a 35% hit rate or who has a uh, 11 or 12 KD. The guy who's number one in the world just invited me to a game there. That's kind of weird. He invites me all the time, but I never want to play with him. I'm not really down to play with that guy. I'd rather just play by myself or play with my subscribers. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, Make sure to smash that like button. Comment down below if you have any uh, suggestions for video ideas, video suggestions, series suggestions you want to see on my channel. If you have any tips or tricks that I don't know about yet, comment them down in the comment section below. That's another series that I'm going to be starting here on my channel because that is everywhere on my live streams. Everyone wants to know any tips, any tricks that they can actually have in the game to make them better. I'll make sure to make that series for you guys because everyone is asking me, saying that I am number one. For a lot of things in the world right now, everyone's asking me what are the best tips, what are the best tricks, what are the best guns, where's the best places to loot, how to loot effectively, how to shoot effectively, how to aim, anything like that. I'll make sure to make those videos soon. But if you want to see anything in a niche kind of topic, make sure to comment it down below if I haven't said it here. But yeah, guys, here's my friends list as well in case you guys are... Uh because you guys want to know uh, how many people send me friend requests. I do usually delete my friend requests every stream. But this stream, I haven't deleted them yet. So this is how many friends I've gotten since I started my stream today. As you can see, there is quite a lot of friend requests right here, guys. Uh, I don't know when this is going to stop. Oh, there we go. So it stopped. I don't even know how many friend requests that was. Maybe like 50 to 100 friend requests. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. It's been your boy Ferg. And like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Without further ado, let's roll the outro.